My name is Maurizio Forte. I'm professor of classical studies, art, art history, and visual studies at Duke University. I'm also the director of the DGET lab, which is a lab dedicated to digital archaeology. And finally, I'm the director of the Vulci 3000 project, which is an Etruscan uh, and Roman site in the central Italy. So my work is always an intersection of classical archaeology and uh, digital methods for communication, dissemination, and uh, data capturing. So we usually integrate uh, remote sensing applications um, from drone multispectral, uh, with multispectral sensor or multispectral camera and uh, uh, 3D uh, modeling. This can be done by laser scanners uh, or by digital photogrammetry or by other system. In particular, in uh, archaeology, uh, we care to design a digital workflow starting from the field uh, and ending with uh, uh, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, or other system for um, sharing the result uh, of, uh, um, of this, or all these models, and so on. Well, laser scanning has uh, now a very uh, robust uh, uh, background and a uh, very early example started in the, uh, in the early 2000s and, uh, and this technology evolved uh, uh, rapidly. I think it's a very affordable, uh, accurate and uh, robust system. So in the fact that uh, particularly uh, the um, combination of software and hardware, so uh, it's important to say that because uh, uh, data capturing is just one part of the work. If you don't have an adequate software or tool, then the result can be uh, uh, maybe not adequate or maybe not at the level you expect. Mm -hmm. So I think this generation of scanner is now uh, absolutely reliable and, uh, and uh, efficient. So the fact that you know that you don't waste time in, in a scanning session because, uh, for example, you see that the, uh, uh, the signal uh, or the optical um, targeting is working well and then you don't miss uh, actually uh, uh, the tracking. Also, I believe that uh, the um, user-friendly uh, tool and software in combination with the scanner is also uh, an advantage for non-specialists, for example. You know, the fact that oh, now I think that uh, specifically, this category scanner is available and usable for almost everyone. So, initial training, but mm, you can start to work uh, almost immediately because, uh, again, it's intuitive, it's easy going, um, and then you can see the result while you scan. And that's very important too, because uh, in the past, uh, sometimes we had to deal with a lot of post-processing, and sometimes you were not sure if the result were exactly uh, uh, like uh, you expected. Yeah, this is, I think it um, is actually the routine. It should be the routine. So that the fact that you, you need to uh, use scanners in different uh, contexts and, and different environments. And um, I think the success of uh, any um, scanning work is uh, uh, efficiency, productivity, and uh, and uh, and usability. So and and that's the case. So basically, uh, the uh, work of of scanning we are doing here at the museum will be available very shortly. The results are already in place, and then this can be uh, very promising for the future. So basically, convincing in many ways. I think museum will uh, deal with in the future with. Uh, more uh, uh, or increasing uh, uh, numbers of activities on over digital recording. And I think this, this is kind of our part of them. Mm -hmm.